they secretly love fans. They'll stay up all night just to see what fans are writing about them. And uh, they won't they won't actually like come out and say it, but they absolutely adore you fans. What I think of um, the Janoskinators, um, I, I love yous all, uh, yous are amazing. Um, I, I always go on my Twitter and look at all your replies and sometimes they just make me laugh. I, honestly, sometimes I just sit there just laughing at your replies. Some of them are just like, like horny and just like ridiculous and <laughs> they make me laugh, I love them. There's like this, this fan from New South Wales and she asked for all our signatures on a piece of paper. So we all signed there. Okay, yeah, whatever. And then um, I remember next week seeing that she actually got tattoos of our signatures on her arm. And we were all like, what the hell? Okay, but the best bit about this story is that this, this lady is a mother of four, I think, or five. Um, she has red hair and she's about 50 years old. So, yeah, that was probably the best fan interaction. <laughs> One of our first trips to London, I remember walking out of the hotel room into the car and um, they had all these barricades set up so that we could lead us like straight into our car. They're like, yeah, sweet, like you gotta run in. Ran out of the lobby and then the barricades fell down. Everyone got mobbed, got into the car, we all sitting there. And then the driver's is about to turn the car on and drive off. And then we just realized that there's a band sitting in the back of the car. They've opened up the back of the boot and now they've all like run into the car and it took us like two hours just to like move 10 meters. It was funny as hell. There was this one time where I was walking out of my room in Sweden and this girl walked into my room with a suitcase. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I snuck in. Cause she didn't look like a fan, she looked like someone that was staying at the hotel. I'm like, what do you mean you snuck in? She's like, yeah. She opened the suitcase, she's like, my suitcase is empty. She goes, I knew that they'll let me in the hotel if I walked in with a suitcase. And she's like, can I just hide in here for a bit? So she got past security, reception, everything, our security, hotel security, and even past me, I didn't even think twice about it. She was a fan. You know, once we finished the show and I was sleeping in my hotel room, and I guess I must have uh, left the door unlocked or left it open or something because, um, I was awakened in, like in, literally in the middle of the night to a fan crawling inside my bed and I, I woke up like, what the fuck? Thank God it was only just a fan and um, it was pretty, still pretty weird but um, I was very, definitely relieved after that. You guys ready? If you want us to talk about the Janoskians, it's a really long story. The best place to start will probably be the very beginning.